Coping with the loss of a soldier is what many Iowa Guard members are getting help with now. Mental health counseling is one part of the demobilization process taking place at Fort McCoy in Wisconsin. Channel 13 Sonia Heitzusen was there and has the story you'll only see here. This is one of dozens of chartered planes bringing Iowa soldiers home from Afghanistan. The 16-hour flight is just the beginning of the journey back to their families. Welcome home. Good. How are you? After a personal greeting from some of the guard's top brass, the soldiers line up for buses, waiting to take them to their next stop, a garage. Here, they will part with one of their closest companions. Yeah, I'll miss her. I named her Black Beauty. The soldiers reclaiming the guns don't have the same attachment. They identify them by another, less affectionate name. Whiskey 194931. A serial number made more visible with white chalk. Soldiers pass it down the line and gently massage it into the metal. This is my second deployment. After my first one, I'd wake up in the middle of the night looking for my weapon. It would be like your wallet or your purse. When you leave the house, you know, most people feel empty without having their purse or their wallet. In another building, soldiers are gladly handing over their gear. Got the gray and the wet weather. This is the central issuing facility. Soldiers receive about 465 pounds of equipment when they're deployed. When they demobilize, most of it is given back. Their rucksacks are like magic hats. The gear flowing out seems to never end. The soldier signs off on it, and it's returned to the Department of Defense. Feels good to get rid of it. It's like we're actually getting home now. But not before being given medical clearance. Doctors and nurses measure the soldiers. <laughs> weigh them and check their vitals. Have you ever been diagnosed with any blood pressure issues before deployment? Within an hour, they've processed more than 100 soldiers. Okay. If everything checks out, the soldier moves on to the next screening. Next. That includes the dentist One's everywhere. and the audiologist for a hearing test. Hearing loss or damage is among the most commonly diagnosed war injuries. The other? Orthopedics. Orthopedics, um, uh, knees, hips, back, shoulders. Lieutenant Colonel Barbara Sutton is the deputy state surgeon for the Iowa National Guard. Her team of 20 serves as the conduit between Fort McCoy and doctors at home. Once the soldiers go through the medical lanes, have their hearing checked, their eyes checked, their teeth checked, they have to have those medical records processed. So far, Lieutenant Colonel Sutton's team has processed about 1,280 records. They've got about 1,200 more to go. We rescreen the soldier, make sure if they've had any injuries, blast exposures, uh, changes in hearing, anything that needs to be followed up on at the state level, then we document that. In addition to the physical screenings, all soldiers receive a mental health evaluation. They must also attend briefings on how to identify post-traumatic stress disorder. If you get home, though, and you're having feelings of helplessness, hopelessness, or worthlessness, and you don't know where to go, one place that you can definitely go is to your local hospital, go to the emergency room. PTSD, behavioral health. That's no different than having a broken arm. We all need to ask for that assistance and help. Lieutenant Colonel Sutton says every soldier experiences post-traumatic stress while adjusting to civilian life. Post-traumatic stress disorder are then behaviors, the, night, the nightmares, the flashbacks, the hypervigilance that happen that interfere with life for more than two months. Every soldier demobilizing at Fort McCoy is screened for it, as well as depression, substance abuse, and traumatic brain injury. They will be rescreened three more times within a year of their demobilization. Okay. The treatment begins right here with something as simple as a dog named Tag. Drop. Drop. Good boy. Tag is a specially trained service dog. Dogs are our four-legged therapists. They bring us a uh, the sense of being more human. Soldiers demobilizing at Fort McCoy are encouraged to interact with him. Those who have trouble adjusting at home can apply for a service dog of their own. The service dogs are trained specifically for them. So they'll get them taking their medications, going out for walks, getting back in the community. And generally, if they can tell if they're stressed, they'll come lay their head on their legs. Service dogs, early detection, follow-up assessments, these soldiers' forefathers didn't receive this kind of treatment, and Lieutenant Colonel Sutton says the military learned its lesson. At first, they used to hide it and keep it secret, and now it's like, well, you can just plan on, on being stressed and abnormal for six months before you get back to your old self, and it's not your old self. 
it's a new normal. Six months may not be enough for some, especially soldiers who have deployed multiple times or experienced multiple losses. Out of all deployments, I've lost about seven guys that I've known real well. And uh, it, it gets harder and harder each time than knowing that somebody that I cared about is gone. For those soldiers, the journey home may take a lifetime. Sonia Heitz, Susan, Channel 13 News. And tomorrow night at 10, soldiers talk about losing best friends on the battlefield and what it's like coming home without them. Important reports to help all of Very. us understand more of the transition, mm -hmm. which can be so difficult. And nobody does understand it until you see yeah, it. And you can't. really can't until you've lived through yeah. that. Amazing. Yeah.